And yeah, for this meetup, uh, I'll be sharing more about Ramadan Makers upcoming uh, month. As you know, that this is the month of Rajab, and one more month later, uh, sooner or later, you know, it will be Ramadan, the month of Ramadan. So what we've been uh, preparing right now is just that we're gonna have a meetup actually, a real life meetup. So this will be happening in two days time uh, in India. So I just got my e-visa uh, granted, approved and everything. So I'll be traveling uh, with the other previous speakers, which is Fauzi, uh, Danish, and as well as Musharraf, and these guys from Indonesia, India, and Bangladesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to meet other makers from uh, India as well. So we're going to communicate on like building product together and everything else. So uh, other than that, I'd like to share about uh, how we actually grow back in uh, the day how we actually got started. So we were on Indie Hackers, and uh, this is our milestone. So we launched, we only had five members at the start, and then we grow from five to 18 members. And everything grows just within 24 hours, and it's free to join. So we, some of them launched the products and got really uh, good you know, votes on Product Hunt. And some of the videos that uh, they launched also hit a thousand of views over on Twitter. So other than that, uh, you have some like milestones over here. You can just go over the Indie Hackers website and you can just see Ramadan Makers. So that's about it. And this one is our listing site currently right now on the website. So we will be revamping the site design and everything. We will be focusing on the uh, having a community platform where you can actually uh, post questions and discussions. Uh, so you can create your profile as well. So you can share about the products that you will be making. So we will be building the website of version 2, inshallah, this coming uh, month of Ramadan. And ramadanmakers.com, it will still be diversity uh, for the Muslims and the non-Muslims and everybody who is a technical founder or a no-code founder or someone who is full of diversity, meaning that uh, they have a different, different background. Uh, of let's say content creating or doing SEO or maybe like someone like Pradeep you know doing product stuff you know we should listen to Pradeep and as well as Kira because I'm really excited uh, to hear what they say later but without further ado uh, I'd like to share more about make a lock share make a lock so we lock our task here we can see on Ramadan makers so you can just sign up on make a lock and lock your task here and you can see all the posts so make a lock is very useful so uh, on behalf of Makerlock, uh, Makerlock will be launching soon uh, with the new design and the whole entire new thing like next week. So uh, watch out for the news feed on Twitter as well as Product Hunt. So Makerlock was founded by Sergio Matei. So he was very busy coding and shipping for the past 24 hours. Uh, we've been communi communicating well. Yeah, so it's really exciting. So if you guys have any questions, do ask me on Twitter uh, about anything else. Like maybe you want to start a business in Singapore or maybe you want to ask questions how to be a digital nomad, you know, how to earn money while traveling, you know, to work remotely and so on and so forth. So inshallah. Uh, yes, I can hear you a bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, I want to ask you. Yeah. Uh. Uh, I can't really hear you that clear. What was the question? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you from the screen over there. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you a bit. Okay, okay. Fajr, I wanted to ask you that uh, can you narrate one event where you fell really hard and you wanted to give up in your life but you did not give up? Can you uh, give us a moment, uh, brief uh, intro of that moment where you fell and you rise back up? Inshallah. Okay. Uh, it's very easy. So in every life that we live in this dunya or in this world, so all of us as uh, Muslims or other non-Muslim as well, uh, we will go through some uh, challenges in life. So as for me, I went through some challenges. Uh, one of the challenges was... Uh, um, you know, every, every every person go through trials and tribulations or tests, right? So uh, I, I lost my mom, uh, actually, exactly this date, 1st March, but 8 years ago. And then 17 days later, I lost my dad. And then uh, 1 year later, I lost, I lost my brother. So all of them were sick. 
And then after that, uh, I felt that I, it was hard for me to juggle between my emotions and, you know, things that I want to do, uh, basically uh, running my uh, business. And from time to time, uh, I, I did it. I cope well. Uh, Alhamdulillah, all praise due to Allah. Uh, Quran helped me to cure, uh, you know, my emotional journey. And then uh, as well as uh, I mix with the like-minded people. So I joined the makers community and they helped me. But at the same time, I was doing so much work until I got burnout. And then I felt anxiety. And then I had depression because I was so uh, worried and scared and facing people. Even even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and our Rasul also went through anxiety, right? So every human will go through a phase of anxiety. You know, they feel scared of other human. Maybe they have project deadlines. Maybe they don't have enough money and so on and so forth. So I had some of my challenges, and then uh, it was really difficult to bring myself up. And then I went burnout. And then after that, the worst part was I got diabetes. So I went through a stage where I got type 2 diabetes and it was really bad. Uh, I felt that I want to give up on so many things because I felt that health is so important. And then um, the first three months, I struggled uh, between eating my medication. I took my pills and everything. Uh, I'm not on insulin, but I'm on the medication, just the glipizide and metformin pills. So uh, Alhamdulillah, after three months, I did very well. And then after six months, I did my second checkup and the doctor said that uh, my blood test and all every test, the urine test, the blood test, all was doing perfect. So health is so important, guys. Sleeping on time. We know we have projects. We know we need to make money, but we need to sleep on time. So important, you know. And then wake up in the morning and then have a good breakfast, a balanced, healthy diet as well. And take care of your food intake. It's so important. You know, the journey will be like a marathon, but remember to take care of the health. And whenever each time you feel like giving up, remember, you know, remember why you start at the first place. You know, uh, remember if you're a Muslim, remember that, you know, everything that we do, try to do for the sake of Allah so that we have a barakah in what you do, meaning that a blessing, you know, blessing in what you do. So uh, it's very important also to uh, mix and surround yourself with like-minded people and if you ever feel lonely or anything do talk to you know your friends your family and the people uh, don't make yourself uh, don't push yourself so hard and you know uh, make you a different person you know always communicate communication is really uh, very very important yes, without communication without uh, continuous work without continuous hard work uh, it is not possible that we meet our goal. It is very important that we remember why did we start. What was the beginning point where did we start? What was the circumstances where we were falling? So it is very necessary that we start from somewhere and do not give up in our life. So yes. thank you very much. Uh, I want you to stay there with us. At, uh, you listen to the rest of the online session. And uh, this is so that, awesome. Congrats on your meeting. congrats on the third meetup. Right? It's the third meetup, right? In oh. my third. MashaAllah. Hopefully, there's more people. Inshallah, and more and more sponsors and more people supporting uh, Pakistan uh, makers community. Yeah. People, people, will come. people will be coming. I'm sure people will be coming. It is only about the commitment. If we are not giving up, we will be catching more people. Don't worry. Don't worry. The first five people is the most important thing. Sooner or later, you will grow yes. more. Okay. Exactly. Next, next up. Next up. We have the next speaker, please. Okay. So, brother Pradeep is there from uh, New uh, New York. Uh, Pradeep, can you can you listen to me? Yeah. He... Pradeep. So Pradeep can switch I... on the camera. Yep, I can. You can hear me. Yes, I can hear you, bro. So it's really dark over there. What time is it? It's uh, two o'clock in the morning. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get you awake this late, but this is what you do. This is uh, how you are uh, living your life. You're talking to people on stage, off stage. You're, this is uh, the goal of uh, your life, uh, which you're undergoing. So we will listen about your failures and your hurdles. Uh, like, uh, where did you want to give up, but you did not give up? And it is up to you, whatever you want to do. Sure, definitely. So, you know, growing up, we have exams, we have school, we have family life. Um, so there's times when school gets hard, 
or work gets hard and you just think that there's too many things going on, just like how Fajar mentioned, you know, health, family, things going on. So life just happens and you you might want to give up at some point. But for me, it's remember why you started in the first place and what are you doing to help others? Because if you are helping others, you have that support system and you get feedback from the people that you're helping and they tell you that what you're doing for them, what you're helping them with is helping them. So for me, you know, helping friends, helping family, helping coworkers, whoever it may be, um, you know, when they tell you that what you're doing is helping them, then that will help you not give up. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're doing something for somebody else. And it's not about you anymore. It's about what you do for other people. So, you know, I've, I've seen this for Jar, you know, there's plenty of times where, you know, at work or at school, you know, you, you, you just think that life is too much. And yeah, take a break, do something different, but continue helping people because we all grow together. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh, Maybe yeah. you can share you can share about the upcoming event that you have uh, next month, Pradeep? Yeah, definitely. So um, I'm a product manager here in New York, and also I teach at a local university in uh, Brooklyn. Uh, so in April 1st, I'm running a conference um, that's for people in New York, but also online. We're bringing together a bunch of different product managers but also people from cross-functional teams, engineering, marketing, community, and also a debate team to bring together the various functions that build pro enterprise products. So it's on April 1st. Um, it's in New York, and it's also available online. Okay, will you be broadcasting this event live? Not live. Um, it'll be a video feed afterwards. Okay, great. But do share the link with us uh, so that we can stay connected and uh, we are going to take you uh, with us, Pradeep, in our future meetups. Uh, bro, uh, th uh, thank you very much for talking to us. <laughs> and uh, this is how we are going to reach out to you. These all are new people coming to our, uh, they, do not, they do not really know about uh, much about Ramadan Maker and how the international Muslim community and developers community is working right now. So I'm going to introduce it to them and I'm going to share the link with them and they are going to join our pages. Alright, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, thank you, Pradeep. Thank you, Pradeep. Thank you. Okay, now we have uh, uh, Kira from uh, Singapore. Uh, Kira from Germany. Uh, he is uh, running his oil gas crypto. And uh, bro, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam and assalamu alaikum to everyone. Thank you for having me and everyone else in this nice event. Uh, and thank you for your for nice introduction. Um, I want to just add uh, to what Fujil uh, have said about health and um, health event. Uh, as he was said, everyone goes to anxiety, especially if you're doing some uh, side projects or some company, running some companies, some business, then you're going to have some issues uh, with anxiety, burnout. Uh, personally, I've been working really hard on my project and uh, I've been having uh, panic attacks, anxiety attacks. Even now, I uh, have have them sometimes uh, but that's the struggle you're gonna have to go through either way uh, whether you do it or not uh, but the most important things uh, is um, all the food where, uh, go to sleep all the time and exercise that's something you left out for your over there <laughs> so yeah yeah our profession should be balanced everything is balanced then only we can work productively towards our goal yeah basically if your health is in bad condition nothing else is going to be in good condition so you have to be really uh, good in health to do products so basically uh, a little bit of uh, my background i've uh, been studying uh, computer science with business management at manchester university uh, for uh, three years like finished uh, about four years ago and since then I've been uh, working on different companies uh, developing different so software and uh, two years ago I started uh, this product called one account and uh, just a few months ago we incorporated a company uh, called Euler Studio and 
we are doing this uh, security thing. Uh, it's more kind of like uh, authentication uh, and uh, um, social login, uh, both uh, combined uh, with uh, two-factor authentication. So it's more about um, changing uh, the way we log in and keep passwords. Actually, there are no passwords. We're trying to eliminate that. That's the product we're building. And uh, if Fajr feels like sharing screen. OK, I'll share uh, one account app right now on the screen. If you can see my screen in a bit, if you can see, can you guys see my screen? Wait. Oh, yeah, there you go. So one account dot app app yeah so I actually you can send see you so you can easily uh see how it works see how it works on mobile phone I will get to Filling out endless forms, repeatedly typing the same text again and again, memorizing dozens of passwords, or you're an, an advanced user who uses a password manager, it solves the issue. Well, kinda, you still need to fill out forms and manage passwords. What about security? Two-factor authentication? Introducing one account, a revolutionary product for a passwordless future. You never have to type a single password again. No more forms to fill out. No more hassle. Just scan the QR code and... Wait, there is no end. You are done. One account manages your data too. Update your data in one account. It is updated everywhere. And best of all, you have full control over your data. It's all stored locally on your device, encrypted. There is more, much, much more to come. All right, that was an awesome video. Thanks. Um, so basically, uh, we've been working on this product. Uh, uh, I have a team of uh, five people, and we're hopefully going to get some investment uh, investment soon to uh, bring it to the big audience. Uh, we have some people interested in uh, integration. So uh, as I've said, uh, this product we've been working for over two years now, and. We have our uh, hardships over uh, the time, and also I wanted to quit because it was so difficult um, to cope with everything I had to do. It was like full-time job and doing side project, and you had to take care of the family, so it was a struggle. But that's how they say you have to hustle to make it happen, and hopefully we will uh, get investment and make it to uh, the bigger audience. And again, I want to say thank you uh, for everyone, uh, and especially Kasim for organizing this event. Uh, and hopefully... Kira, uh, can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Sorry? Can you hear me now? Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is one thing common. In all the people who want to take initiative, there is something common. Uh, the common factor is they all are struggling hard. They all are experience, experiencing an anxiety. They do not get uh, recognition and acknowledgement immediately. They all have to struggle and work harder for quite some time until they achieve success. Is it like this? So we all have, we all are struggling because we are, uh, we are unique in our own ways, uh, and we are going to find the resistance around us, and people are going to come attacking us. But uh, we do not have to, we have to not give up. We have to keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward until one day we are going to find success. Yeah, if you give up, you're going to be just other people doing nothing and not achieving nothing. Exactly. Uh, yeah, we do not want to be normal people again. We want to achieve success. And inshallah, we are going to be working on our own personal initiative. I am going to make uh, the talk list, which is my personal project a success. You are going to make Oila Studio a success. Abhida Bangla is going to make Indini a success. Pradeep is going to make Product Angle a success. Abdul Wahab. Is going to make for us uh, a success, inshallah, very soon. Uh, we only have to keep moving forward. That is what is needed out of us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Kira, thank you very much, brother. Stay here with us. Yes. Uh, we are going to, uh, here to Abdul Wahab. He is uh, here from Nordic and uh, he has quit his job. Uh, he is moving to Saudi. 
So let's listen to his story. What uh, hurdles did he face? Uh, how hard did he fell? And when did he rise back up? So Abdul Wahab, can you hear me? Abdul Wahab, <laughs> are you there? <laughs>
you know, th there, there was a, a special need that I had, and that was that I was living in uh, Norway where it wasn't possible to get an interest-free uh, uh, loan. And uh, that's what made me think about it. Okay, I can't get an interest-free loan. What about if I make a company which can give me and others also an interest-free loan? Uh, I wanted to buy a house, but I was never able to do it. So, okay, instead of going through the normal channel, go to bank and see, okay, we don't have any other option. Let's go to this company and let's, uh, I, I thought, okay, let's create a company. But at that time, I didn't know much about finance. I was a techno technologist. And that's why I joined the MBA. I did the, I learned Islamic finance. Uh, I started working on uh, this project. And uh, uh, almost a year ago, we got our banking license. I'm not sure if you know how hard it is to get this bike license from, uh, especially in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and that's where things started to go very positive for me and I left my job and all that. But I have a question here. Uh, I can't see the I can't see the audience again. Uh, Kasim, can you just focus on the audience? I, I think we can uh, show the uh, show the um, what's called uh, website later. So you heard a little bit of my background and what I have done. Do you think this is something uh, this relates to success? Do you think it's success or not? Just raise your hand if you if, if you think or not. No, just. It is on the hurdles and it is on the fight you doing. No, so what I have achieved, people, you know, getting you on, running your own, own company, getting uh, to somewhere where you can, you know, start paying yourself. Uh, we had a first hour, our first seeding round at four million uh, US dollar uh, at value, valuation, and this is something that people might describe as success. But what I believe is that success is actually not a destination and it's a, but it's a journey okay what people mostly uh, what you what you call um, mix up is success that is a destination and success that is a journey success as a destination i will give you an example if you are running after a title at your name for example you want to get a phd you want to do uh, you know, you want to have a doctor at your, with your name, you are actually running for a success that is a, that is a destination. And that is something you should never do because success is never a destination, it's a journey. Take an example of Elon Musk. If you, I'm not sure if you know Elon Musk, but I can, some people didn't know him, so I will give you a, a small example of how he achieved or how he is doing. This guy is the one who started, who first started PayPal. You have heard about PayPal. Just uh, raise your hand if you have heard about PayPal. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So th this guy created the PayPal. From there on, he went on to create Tesla. Tesla is the electric car that it, that revolutionized the car industry. Uh, from there on, he's, uh, he said, okay, by 2024, I'm going to bring uh, humans to the marsh. And he started creating this, uh, uh, these rockets, which can land and, uh, you know, take off and land in the same, uh, same direction, uh, in the same way that it does, you know, uh, uh, that, you know, that how it takes off in exactly the same way it can land. And that means that they can uh, they can t uh, bring the people to the Mars. So his ambitions were, were high. But you look at his, uh, you know, uh, his achievement, what he's doing. He, he, if the success was actually a destination, he would have stopped at PayPal. You know, 300 million getting paid off at 300 million, then that's it. You, you need money, you, you have achieved this kind of goals of uh, uh, a mile and that is else you need. But the thing is that success was not defined by becoming a doctor or becoming a CEO or becoming a powder. His success is defined by his mission. Okay. His mission is to bring humanity to 
uh, was called Marsh. And that's what he defined it. He called, actually, he called NASA while he was working on uh, in uh, PayPal and asked them that when were they going to take the, uh, you know, uh, humanity to Mars because they have already done it 30 years ago. They have uh, brought uh, humanity to the moon. What's the next step? And they didn't reply. They were told it might be, a, you know, just a joke. But then uh, he said, okay, if he, they're not going to do, I'm do, going to do myself. And that is a huge thing, okay? So his mission defined his data, okay? For that, it doesn't take, uh, you know, for himself, there's nothing. He is not asking for uh, a title. And that's what I think we need, we all need to do to define our success as well. For me personally, my mission was as a, in my life mission was to, uh, you know, define uh, or, or, or what's called, uh, to uh, create an alternative system where we can have interest-free loans, interest-free uh, system uh, for all those who, you know, need. Because I think ethically interest-bearing loans and interest-bearing uh, system has, uh, are not very good. So that's what I thought. If, if it's not possible, if there are not no systems, I will create myself, okay? But my personal uh, mission is that I, I want my name to be my title, and I want my uh, methods to be others' education. And that means exactly like Elon Musk, you know. That means that I'm not, I do not want my, you know, uh, any title with my name. I want to be my name as my title, like Bill Gates, Bill uh, Mark Zuckerberg, or you know any other example you take, you don't. They don't need their title, and I want my methods to be others' education. That whatever Elon Musk does, whatever Facebook, uh, what's called um, Mark Zuckerberg does, or even uh, Bill Gates does, that becomes a method that other people want to adopt. So and that comes only when you are not looking for self-centered, destination-defined uh, success, okay? When you're looking for, when, when your success is your journey, then, uh, then on, and only then you are successful and then you can achieve these things like these guys have done. Uh, I think that's it for, uh, from me. Thank you very much, Abdul uh, So uh, it is uh, it is a continuous struggle, bro. I know you have taken a big initiative. It is a full step. You are going to give up everything you have earned, uh, all the education and all the knowledge and growth which you have earned. You are going to give it up, and you are going to move to Saudi. Yeah, it is a very cool step. I wish you best of luck, bro. Inshallah, we are with you. You are going. And uh, we are always going to be there beside you. Uh, and this community of Ramadan makers, it is very helpful. And I'm going to send a link to you. You can join it, and it will help you in technical ways, marketing ways. You want to get good videos built by Fajr. He's very good at that. <laughs> he will market anything you will find. So you you should join it. Uh, it will help you in your endeavor. It will help you struggle. Your... So I thank you again. Uh, now we. Is there a question from audience or just? Does... Yeah, they are asking how can we connect with you. I have added him in our WhatsApp group and I am going to add all of you in our Telegram group of Ramazan makers. All right. I do not have, so I'm sorry, I do not have Telegram, but I have, uh, and I do not have Facebook, Twitter, or Insta, or I, uh, I only have LinkedIn. Uh, I will provide it to uh, uh, to Kasim and maybe Kasim can share it with uh, you guys. Do you have WhatsApp or not? I'm not a social media guy. <laughs> no problem. We will reach it. Uh, there are people I can uh, reach if you want to talk to him. Uh, he is in their WhatsApp group. I will just get to give you his number. He will call him. Can we call you, Abdul Bhav? Sorry? Can I give you all? If we have any query or we want to contact you, can we give you a call? Uh, give you a call? Yeah, please do. Please do. If, uh, but uh, please, uh, please uh, keep in mind that um, I am not sure if I will be send me a uh, send me a text and from there I think it would be good to you know take it from there uh, because I'm often I, I'm not I was not 
uh, in uh, in the UK like last weekend there was a big time difference. Yes, I'm not sure where I might be. Okay, no problem. I will get in touch with you in advance. Don't worry, go here. ंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगरोंगर
Okay, after time is up. Time is up, guys. Time is up. So the same timer and this time person will speak, but the listener will not pay attention. <laughs> the listener will not pay attention. She <laughs> will look here and there. Do not listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We are <laughs> we have 10 seconds more. Okay, time is up. Stop there. Gee. Okay. Thank you very much for participating. Okay. In anyone among audience, can they share experience? How did it feel when the person you were speaking, but the person was not paying any attention? How did it feel? The person not paying any attention. Yeah, obviously, it didn't feel good. It didn't get good vibes. I felt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> now, th this is the difference between listening and hearing. I appreciate you, all of you, and especially Kasim, for being standing for, I don't know, for two hours. I can tell he works in Army, very active. I was feeling pain in my legs, even though he's standing all the time. I appreciate you are all here. But what will you will take home, it depends how you listen. Even animals can hear, but there's a difference between active listening and hearing. So the, these things matter because you may be tired now and there's been so much said. I'm not going to repeat all those motivational things which all my brothers have shared. The only thing I want to share is that there are something different. I want to make all these respective brothers and sons a little bit jealous. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came into this field, I belong to a um, typical Pakistani background, which I am proud of in a way. But the thing is, in my culture, there is a myth, there is a misconception that once you have kids, I've seen all my college fellows, all my friends, they were at the peak in student life. Once they got married, you have kids. It's like you have given divorce to your talent and skill and books. And this is the culture been existing in my circle. And it always bothered me that our dean does not stop us to nurture or to move forward. It does not stop us to become like a business lady like Hazrat Khadija Razielanha or a scholar like Azrat Aisha Razialanha, or delegate or employ somebody like the daughter of Azrat Shrai. So why there is a barrier? Why there's a misconception? So that's where, brother, I feel like I am a winner because, you know, I have five kids. Two of them are special needs, full-time uh, with disabilities. I have a husband, a house to look after, and I am a full-time mother and carer. So when I came into this field, you can see that, you know, you may have an option to go into bed early or, you know, waking up early, but with kids, you cannot control, you have no control over your time, no matter how disciplined you are. There are so many things where you can, you can't control. But despite this challenge, when I started this therapy business, my job was to feel, make those women feel empowered, which think, oh, we have kids, we have this married life, there's nothing we should do now. And my success and the most achievable stories are, there was a lady in Pakistan village, she has 
no link or no resources or not the technology to reach out and you know there is still women who exist in pakistan who have no permission to go out to reach out or do anything if they even if they have talent her husband was not allowing anything and luckily i do sessions online and they can approach me from far away villages so what happened when she approached me i didn't uh, i only do one hour online session that's all you need to do i need one hour of your life and your life will not be the same so i make her feel empowered and then it took her one year to convince her husband but she started to make chicken burgers using her normal tawa the pan we use for making chapati and rotis she make she bought one chicken and she sold burger for 3 days the chicken lasted for 3 days and one burger she sold for 60 rupees in pakistani rupees and it keep happening for one month her one first month saving was 500 rupees uh, when the time passed by a uh, some lady came to her husband her husband already have a small very small shop like a corner street shop a lady who was a teacher uh, in local primary school she came and she said there is a difference it looks like a homemade burger can we order every day for the staff and that's where it started to the her business started to have a you know like recommendation by word of mouth and now she told me that there was just was a day when she started one chicken last you for 3 days now she have to use three chickens in one day and her monthly savings is uh, i think 5000 rupees it may not be big amount but a lady in a village with no skills with the boundaries with the limitations no support available she did it exactly same other two women who, whose husbands were not working i trained them i teach taught them some skill, skills and now they are sending their kids to school because they can pay their fees these ladies are living in pakistan i am living in uk so that's where i want you to break this barrier and i feel so proud and i am so thankful to allah um i don't know why i cannot show share my scheme but anyway this that's where i really felt proud and i want to thank allah because you know i i really like this quote that me and you we be human being are like tea bags you know i've been drinking tea in the beginning this tea bag it didn't give me color until i put hot water on top and look it's giving me color so until or unless we have challenge in our life we are not going to create anything so wala na allah tala say na ke wala na bluwannakum hatta na alam al mujahidin minkum was sabirin we are going to testify you so we can know because if the situation is going to always stay the same how do we discover our potential so allah said we will testify you so we can see who among you can struggle and survive and move forward so we are like tea bags so every time because i make a tea everybody sometimes make a tea for themselves or for others so that always to me is a reminder so i run business uh, easy hill i i am on facebook page i know i i managed to have is 1000 likes and followers uh, the last year or so and kasim was a big help he is the one who made my website and helped me to establish my business and there are every week uh, i handle with divorce cases and i do have monthly basis i offer free sessions as well to the sisters who cannot afford i do sessions and training and do workshops uh, basically all about quran my passion is quran i've been quran teacher all my life i started since the age of 12 so i combine you, uh, you know like abdul wahab was telling when you link your skill and passion with the teaching of teen the package become whole and that's where you feel skin in your heart that to me and for you for the muslim is not like okay i'm doing my business so i'm not going to be muslim for 9 till 5 pm and then i will be muslim from 5 till 6 pm until i do my asr then i will go off we keep wearing one hat and that hat guides us and that hat the the deen hat 
brings peace and tranquility. And then we don't want to compete to make other lower. We compete to empower everybody. And this is the point which I think bring all of us closer to each other. So I want to uh, say thanks to everybody and I will be in touch with Brother Kasim. I'm very impressed with everybody's talent and I will be asking their help in the future. So we will work as a team, inshallah, as well. So thanks uh, for giving me time. Uh, uh, and, uh, I'm asking you for uh, short tutorials for uh, EDU projects. She's also asking me to advocate uh, her, to market her uh, page. I'm saying that uh, you have been asking me about uh, marketing your Facebook page, marketing your uh, project, marketing your business. Uh, like you have been asking me about making short video tutorials, like you wanted to hire, you wanted to hire some actors, but you couldn't do it on your own. So this is the community, Abida, where you can uh, find many people who uh, will be very willing to help you out. They will, they are, they can make good videos for you. They can market your products. So I'm going to share uh, their links with you. You, you must join it. Uh, you must uh, be uh, more vocal, be more participative uh, in that group so that uh, they can reach out to you and you can reach out to them. It is going to help you run your uh, project further. So this is uh, this is the basic foundational purpose of this meetup that we uh, get closer to each other and uh, it becomes easier for us to run our own personal projects. All right? Yes. Yes. Sure. Inshallah. Okay. Okay. I am going to take Fawzi from Indonesia online. Uh, Fawzi, can you hear me, bro? Currently, Fawzi is traveling. Uh, he's traveling to Singapore from Indonesia as we are going to travel India tomorrow. So, uh, Fauzi, Fauzi, are you there, bro? We're there. <laughs> that's a minute, that's a minute. He's probably like, uh, let me just give him a quick missed call on his phone. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, nice. Okay, go, go, go. Which on your camera, bro? We cannot see. Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent, very good. You're, okay. You're traveling in the train. Uh, yeah, um, right now I'm in Jakarta and tomorrow I will be uh, take flight to Singapore to meet Fajar. Uh, okay, and then we will together go to, to India. With uh, We will meet with uh, another maker. For, like for the first time, for the first time. I never, I never met him before, but I, I never <laughs> met. This, this is the beauty of video conference. Like I never like met him before in my life, but we've been video conference for one year. Like right now, and tomorrow we're gonna meet for the first time ever in our life. <laughs> I, uh, I am really jealous of you guys because you were meeting here in India and you were not. <laughs> you should come. <laughs> you should come. We're gonna build okay, a lot of products. Okay, you all are welcome to, uh, to come to Pakistan. Uh, I will arrange your trip to northern Pakistan. MashaAllah. Awesome. So, uh, Fauzi, so Fauzi, can you share? Plan. Fauzi, can you share with us uh, more about the travel agency and more about travel industry uh, in Indonesia, especially in the place uh, in uh, uh, Pengandaran uh, in Indonesia and like, what you're doing as a lead? Um, yeah, so uh, right now I will share uh, how my company is spent zero dollar for marketing and we still can live uh, like we already the uh, six year and alhamdulillah uh, we got like enough re revenue to to uh, stay our our um, lifestyle so like uh, traveling or like uh, hanging out with friends something like that and with zero dollar i mean i spend i only spend the marketing on 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 something that i can uh, track i can uh, optimize like seo and then uh, word of mouth and something uh, i'm sorry uh, if there's uh, something like sound of motorcycle <laughs> currently uh, i'm in my friend's house it's so, okay yeah yeah okay uh, i'll continue um <clears throat> so marketing is not about like um you spend on ads on uh, social media on some or on some or, or something like uh uh, facebook ads uh, or whatever but 
marketing is about reach your uh, target or uh, value customer because if you target everyone if you spend on uh, advertising too much you will, uh, it will kill your profit and i think in early stage of uh, business uh, organic organic uh, growth is very important because uh, if you if your um, like capital is uh, limited so you need to careful to spend the money on something that you can track um, might be something like a f- video uh, video marketing on youtube or uh, seo is very important uh, me mas- myself i have a travel uh, business like we do the marketing online and we serve the cost uh, the, the the client uh, offline like uh, we guide them we serve their meals uh, we organize their trip something like that and we re- uh, really focus on uh, corporate like we only handle the corporate uh, the company or the employee something like that so we don't handle like regular uh, travelers like backpackers we don't handle uh, kind of like that because um, when when we focus or when you focus you can achieve more like you you can track your progress because everything is uh, standardized imagine if uh, you have a product that serve everyone okay like let's say facebook you want to create something like facebook but you target everyone everyone who use internet who want uh, you want to target them so you need very large capital to to marketing or uh, to advertise your product that's why uh, we only focus on uh, corporate segment so we can uh, target them little by little like uh, currently i'm in jakarta when i go to the dis- business district area uh, every every uh, sign the company sign is uh, my clients like this is my client this is my client so when i travel to the business district like okay this is this is one uh, i handled it in 2018 this one in last year something like that uh, so uh, you can monitor your progress because you very very small you are uh, very focused and you spend very little uh, money to advertise and because right now is everything like uh startup is burning their money so you can use them to to promote your product let's say like a uh, product hunt you can post your product for free you can uh post your product on reddit for free you can seo for free you can posting uh, your video in youtube on instagram on twitter for free so i just think why i spend money on advertising if there is free channel Uh, I can use and it maximize my prof- uh, my profit. Also, in in the same time, I can uh, monitor, I can track the progress. Uh, so let uh, answer the Fajar question about the travel industry. Currently, uh, starting uh, 2020, I see the progress because uh, my website visitor is uh, uh, kind of like uh, progressing. Uh, increasing and uh, number of client we handle uh, each each week is also increasing in 2019 usually we handle like one or two clients right now we handle three or four so it's it, it's increasing and maybe because uh, economic stability in the Indonesia but after the coronavirus <laughs> Uh, something changed so uh, in industry like uh, travel or uh, tertiary segment like uh, expensive luxury item there the market will be very fluctuative like right now it's very stable but tomorrow uh, if something happen in the economy uh, it will very very fragile so uh, currently right now my my team is uh, targeting our old client our our um, like they 
they use uh, our service in 2015, 2016. So we uh, call them. We uh, reach them again, like um, maybe they want to uh, to go to another place that we can help them. So uh, it's, it's kind of like if you have a uh, long, uh, like you have very far family, you you nev- you only meet them once, and you really miss them. So we just kind of like uh, say and salam, not not to offer them uh, our service, but like uh, we want we want to uh, talk again. You know, like if if you have friend and four years you don't. You don't talk to them, so you want you want to uh, release the what I called. Uh, um, you want to say hey, yeah. And what I mean with say hey, maybe they forgot us. So when I call them, they will remember us again. And maybe someday uh, this year or next year they will use our product again. So in marketing, I never. I never search for customer, but I position myself and my company to to be found by by client. So I never search, I never like offer someone, hey, do you want to go uh, to Bali or do you want to uh, like uh, travel to Lombok? Uh, we we don't offer kind of uh, marketing like that, but we make sure that people can phone our service online, like on Google, on Google Maps, on YouTube, on Instagram. Just make sure that people who is target, uh, our target is can phone us. So you don't spend your time to to talk to people that is not interest. Okay, so That's you great. can save time. You can focus on your on your uh, target customer that really interested in really interest on your product uh, alhamdulillah that uh, our uh, closing rate right now like if 10 people uh, call us or um, contact us uh, inshallah like alhamdulillah uh, around five or six uh, uh, people will will close the, the close deal like 60 percent so because we are very target we are very specific market Imagine if I serve all of uh, the type of travelers, like family, like um, a backpacker, maybe the closing rate is around 20 or 30%. Like what we did in, in the first year, we serve all of the type, like, you know, like uh, white people or um, European or uh, North American, we serve all of that. And the closing rate is very low. So uh in 2015 i uh we we uh, pivot from uh serve all to focus on the corporate segment and alhamdulillah the closing rate is around 60 kind of like 70 percent and if you have that kind of um uh closing rate it's very good because imagine 100 people visit your website 10 people calling you and five people is buy your product. MashaAllah. Um, that is very good result because uh, what I know that in the uh, sales uh, industry is around five, uh, 1%, 0. 0.0 to 1% from the visitor. Uh, no, no, fr- from the uh, tr- uh, trial. Uh, like people will sign up to your website uh, the people who will upgrade to the uh, paid version is around one percent. So if you calculate from visitor to uh, the paying customer, is is very little. It's like point uh, zero point. <laughs> you can calculate it, okay? Like uh, you like was was the your resort your server to serve someone that don't buy your product. Yeah. <laughs> It's like YouTuber, they have thousand or million uh, views, but the subscriber only 10 people. 
So whenever you you upgrade uh, or you release new video, that's not guarantee uh, guarantee that uh, you have enough viewers to get um, like uh, money from advertising. Fajar know about YouTube because he is a YouTuber too. <laughs> so, this is awesome, Fauzi. Thank you for sharing us about uh, the travel industry in Indonesia. So if you guys ever want to go on a tour, like a team, like a huge team, or like maybe with a family, you can contact Fauzi. Uh, he's available on Twitter and Telegram as well. So I can drop you the link. Uh, you can just go to Planet Pengedaran. So that is the website, planetpengedaran.co.id. It's an Indonesian website. And he made this uh, using WordPress and as well as uh, Netlify and also Cloudflare to take care of the security of the website so there's no hackers coming in. So apart from that, maybe Fauzi might share just a little bit more about uh, your fall and how you get up in this industry. Just a bit more, like maybe one, two, three minutes. Um, <clears throat> the biggest issue in travel, actually, the competitor. So in 2014, that is only three company in my area right now 2020 is around 30 so it's kind of like 500% increasing in competition but why are we still uh, we still like we still have clients every week um, because that's the, the focus uh, we, we have that only serve the uh, corporate segment clients because we can we can um, standardize our service for the corporate. So uh, actually, uh, my pivot is because uh, the, the website like booking.com that uh, surf, uh, you can book hotel, one or two rooms, or you can book um, experience like uh, like uh, rafting, or you can book like um, boogie jumping, something like that. Personally, only maybe around one to five people. And when we pivot, uh, that's, that is interestingly, we survived because our competitor that serve all type of client is right now is like they don't live but that also don't die like they still want to sell but no one really buy their product something like that so after after uh, the the fall of uh, of the travel industry because of uh, startup in the track in travel like booking.com and uh, in Indonesia, there is traveloka.com. When we pay for, when we pay for, like we change the segment on uh, and only focus on uh, corporate. That's uh, we we rise up again. Like we stabilize our our uh, clients. Alhamdulillah. B two B. Actually, it's kind of like B two B, but. Um, what can I say? Corporate. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you sell it. You sell at a bigger scale, bigger numbers. Yeah. Bigger package. Yeah. Bigger package. Actually, better actually value. Not not, uh, not not also big big uh, like larger number of customer like hundred people. No, we only we actually serve ten people. But if uh, they are from company, maybe like a sales team, like. They are only five or ten people. We still serve them as long as they uh, come from the company. So, so we can actually with with that segment we can collect the tax easily because you know uh, the company always have uh, a tax number, and in Indonesia not everyone have tax number. Like personal, my, my father, my father is. Uh, that didn't have tax number <laughs> so if if he want to use my service i cannot pay the tax but right. company they ask they always uh, 100% have the comp uh, the 
uh, tax number so I can pay their tax. Right. <laughs> and it's minimize uh, our our uh, our our penal penalty on uh, tax uh, yeah, side because when you don't pay tax, you the government will charge you More. some money. Yeah. <laughs> so don't do that, guys. <laughs> always always do the legal right next month next month i'm doing tax as well in april in singapore so i think it's a tax period right now so maybe uh, for those who wants to start you better read up uh, your you know website in the government website start a business and everything read up for any questions you also can ask us okay Kose, maybe you can take away from uh, from now thank you so much fauzi for sharing so much insightful stuff about uh, the travel uh, industry in indonesia Thank you, Fajar and Kasim. Yeah. Thank you very much for today, bro. Uh, wish you best of luck your trip to Singapore and then to India. Then hopefully in the future to Pakistan. Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope I will see you soon, inshallah. We have a speaker around you today here in the school. But uh, you are free to go if you want to. Uh, we are having on stage speakers. So we are free to run the session for the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then with uh, the wrap of the session is over. So we are going to be in the last month again. We are going to conduct this outing. If you have uh, any objection or any observation, if you think, with, uh, any suggestion which you think we should talk to. Okay. So, uh, if there's any suggestion, uh, you can just get back to Kossim and we kind of collect. We can do this together uh, from time to time. And maybe we can do even a real life event, uh, you know, inshallah, one day when we have the budget yeah. and everything. Yeah. I, I love listening to Sister Abida. She's amazing. She's very moving, especially uh, listening to her uh, regarding about her special kids, right? And as well as you as a mother of five children and you have a family to take care and you're doing your business let me know uh, any to any of the brothers over here that might can help you to grow your business facebook is great but sometimes you need to explore a different different social media platform uh, i've been on facebook for more than 10 15 years and i got sick and tired of it so uh because of the toxic people and some is good some is nah, okay uh, so we can ask some of these guys here they can help you inshallah uh, uh sister abida bano uh and also, thank you so much, Kira, for sharing us with one security app. Uh, he's a master of the security, so you can ask him about uh, how internet works, who's hacking and who's not. But he's amazing because he's finding for investors. So if you have any investor who have more than $4 million, I guess, can help uh, Kira because he's looking for a big deal over there. And also yeah. thank you Pradeep, thank you Pradeep so much for sharing us and uh, he's actually, you, can, you guys can attend his next event, Product Angle, next month in April. So uh, you can buy the tickets, uh, reach him out on uh, Twitter. So you can follow him on Twitter, just find Pradeep Kaha. And thank you so much Fauzi and uh, there's another guy over there, uh, Khaja, one of our committee member. So cause him, so is there anything else cause him that we can uh, wrap this up? You can wrap this up, no problem bro, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'm going to keep you bumped time to time.